Claire Gillis there. Now, as TV dog experts go, she's got to be the best. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I mean, you're really good too. Great, in fact. Thanks. Really now, unfortunately, not all dogs get the care and attention they deserve, and many get lost or they're abandoned by their owners. But thankfully, there's hundreds of amazing charities up and down the country that work to rescue and rehome these dogs. So I went to the Dogs Trust Rehoming Centre in Glasgow. Take a little look. The charity has centres across the UK, caring for 16,000 unwanted and abandoned dogs a year. All breeds of dog come through the centre, old and young, and the Glasgow Centre can rehome up to 30 dogs a week during their busiest period. They focus on matching the person to the dog best suited to them. Hello. Once you've identified your dog, a series of meetings take place to make sure that your chosen dog will be suited to you and your lifestyle. We took Blue the Greyhound and Pharaoh the Whippet for a walk while Tim from the Glasgow Centre explained to me how it all works. So, Tim, you can't just turn up to the centre and expect to take a dog home with you. You want to match the right dog to the right person. So, why do you do that and how do you do it? Everyone who rehomes a dog comes in, they fill in a rehoming questionnaire and it just asks various questions like, um, have you got any other pets in the house? How much time have you got to spend at home with a dog? Have you got any kids? It just make sure that... Um, the right dog goes to the right home. And what about breeds? Do certain breeds prefer certain lifestyles? Yeah, there are some generalisations. It's like collies, they're very excitable, very clever, bouncy dogs, and they might need a home with um, lots of stimulation and things. Whereas these guys, unbelievably, <laughs> despite their reputation as feed merchants, they might need a couple of 20-minute walks each day, and they'd be content to chill out in your house. They're really lazy dogs, actually. Oh. They'd love to lie around in a warm duvet or something. We've got Blue and Pharaoh here. Why have they got muzzles on? Um, it's really just a precautionary measure. Um, very, very fast dogs, obviously. If they saw a small and furry animal and slipped their lead, they might be off and be able to catch it the speed they've got. What do you do if a dog doesn't get adopted? We'll never, ever put a healthy dog down. Um, that means that those dogs which take a little longer to find the perfect home, they'll be safe with us. We'll give them all the medical care they need, all the behavioural support and all the hugs and cuddles obviously they need. Um, they'll be safe with us till we can find them a perfect home. Running a centre like this is a huge operation. 66 kennels are home to around 140 dogs. Those dogs need to be fed, walked and looked after by the on-site vets. <laughs> as well as that, their kennels need to be cleaned and their mountain of bedding needs to be washed and tumble dried. And as you can imagine, there is quite the pile of poo created. Now, the best job here has to be Jim's. We're in the grooming room here at the centre and we're going to give this mucky pup, Harry, a good wash. I'm going to wash that man. On a typical day, Jim can wash up to ten dogs. Nearly done. Yep, almost finished. A soft and gentle doggy shampoo will make sure their coat doesn't dry out. How was that, Harry? Nice and gentle. Now then, Harry, what are we going for? Short back and sides, maybe an asymmetric bob. A perm? I think you'd love a perm, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> or just to shake it all off. Oh. That's it, yeah. Poor Harry was a stray who had been roaming the streets and his coat was matted with dirt. But look at him now, shiny, happy and healthy. And there we have it. Your pongy pooch is now a cute, cuddly critter. Aren't you? Give me a cuddle. Cute lad! It's that time of the show where all we really want to see are some adorable puppies. I give you peanut butter, pickle and jam. Do these guys need a lot of exercise? Like any dog, they need a lot of care. Um, and it's about socialising the dogs. Um, so we make sure that the dogs get as, um, as much play as possible and we introduce them to new situations and things when the time's right. So when they go out into the big wide world, you know, they're prepared for what's going to happen and things and they're not scared dogs. Oh, they're all absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't know how to choose. Except I think you've chosen me, haven't you? And they called it puppy love. 